Today, we are continuing the hunt for the biggest buck I've ever seen in my life. First things first, if you haven't seen episode one, go watch it. Now, if you watched episode one, you will know that he is super aggressive, and I even rattled him in twice with these rattling antlers. But last night, I thought about it a little bit, okay? I've been hunting eight times already, and I think I may need a little adjustment. I'll be right back. I'm going to get something, by the way. His name is Glendale, and he is going to provide competition for rock band. Now you may be saying, KG, you're literally dumb. And yeah, I know. I mean, it's it's a good idea, I promise. Listen, I'm gonna use Glendale as a decoy. Okay, last episode, I rattled a little bit, boom. He came in sprinting twice. But he didn't see the fight he was coming for. That's where Glendale comes in. We stick Glendale out there in the field, we hit the rattling antlers, and then Rock Band sprints in, sees Glendale, and just stinking kills him. And while Rock Band's asserting his dominance on Glendale, I'll pull out my crossbow and put Put an arrow straight through his face. I mean his heart. I mean, in theory, it sounds really good. Listen, guys, I've seen it on a TV show. Whether that was in a high fence or not, I'm not sure. Okay, let's run a little scenario right here. Okay, this is what the Navy SEALs do too. They practice. But I'm gonna get my arrow ready, get it in there real nice, and then here's how it's gonna go down. You ready for this? Get ready. It's gonna happen quick. Oh, snap, there he is! Dead. We ain't careful. That's exactly what it's going to be like in the woods tomorrow. And yeah, we're going in the morning because tonight the wind just ain't right. I'm talking, look at that. That's, that's thinking straight A's, dude. 100%. If this was Rock Band, he'd be in the back of my truck right now. But it ain't. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a foam target. You get the point, though. A long story short, we're taking out the decoy. We're killing Rock Band in the morning. He definitely didn't turn around. He actually blowed a few times, which is usually a really bad sign. There's a chance he could have been going up the hill so that he could come around the top. The good thing is that if he does come around the top, the first thing he's gonna see is that bug. So I just gotta be ready. All right guys, so uh, he never he never came. But here, let me just tell you what happened this morning. I was up there in the tree, I rattled. About an hour went by, and he ended up coming way back behind me. I don't think he heard me because it did take him an hour to get here. You guys know me. I got excited. I did one of these numbers. He went, looked right at me. I was like, I was looking at him just as hard as he was looking at me. I had to pull up my rangefinder to be able to see. He was actually looking at me, and by that time, he had been looking at me for like a minute. I was like, dang, son. But you may be saying, KG, why are you literally in your hunting spot walking around talking really loud? Why aren't you in the tree, bad boy? If you saw last episode, which was this, you'll know that I set like eight or nine hunts straight. This morning hit a little bit different, okay? Plus, the next three or four days are both supposed to get warm. Bucks prefer to move at night when it gets this warm. So I'm gonna fill up my feeder, keep the does happy, and just take the next three four days off or at least that's what i say i'll probably be out here in the morning this morning i practically just surrendered i was out of here at like 10. if there's some days you just don't feel like hunting just don't go hunting you ain't hunting for food you can go to mcdonald's they're open 24 7. there's no point in burning yourself out I'm trying to hunt 26 hours a day oh, 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 ah. we're not done hunting for rock band but in the meantime, we're gonna prepare ourselves a little bit more than we was these last few days. All right, guys, while I was out there, I went ahead and picked up the trail camera. I just wanna check it out. All right, here we go. Right now, we got a purple screen. I think my battery was low. Before we look at these, big shouts to the KG trail camera. My favorite camera in the entire world, probably because I make it and sell it. All right, there's a raccoon last night. That's epic. There's me walking in this morning. There's the buck. Let's first get that out of the way. The Glendale. There's me heading out. Um. I left at 9.40. 11 o'clock, he... Oh. 
I, I didn't even take Glendale back. I just left him till midday. Who is that? Who is that, Jeffrey? No! No! I'm just kidding, I'm not mad. But it is really cool. I'm freaking out, dude. If I would've stayed there two more hours, I'm not gonna say I would've killed him, okay? I would've seen him. I think that's Rock Band. Yeah, that's, that's Rock Band. That's not Jeffrey. Oh my goodness, my guy. That's Rock Band. And that is literally two hours after I left. I'm salty right now. He stood around there for 15 minutes! And then there's me whenever I went to pet out the corner. As much as I feel like I should be upset or disappointed, I'm not. Fair game. I said I was gonna take a four day break, but I lied. I think we're going tonight. Alright guys, we're up here now. The woods are quiet. It's really hot, which probably isn't a good thing. But I've came to realize I'm really bad at sitting still. So in order to combat that, I'm going to rig this net up around this tree stand. So that if I twinkle my toes, he's here, he's here. Never mind, it's a dog. It's, it is really hot though. I'm gonna just chill right here until it gets dark and hopefully Rock Band comes out. Jeffrey's okay too. I'll shoot them both. Yo, 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 what is up guys? It's your boy KG back here on another hunt. But I'm actually not hunting. Today's Sunday, so I gotta go to church in like two hours. So I'm not hunting or anything, but I figured why not just come out here and sit. I've picked an area that I can't hunt with the crossbow just because of all the range. But if there's any good rutting action, I should have a really good view of it. But let's not forget about last night. The evening itself was actually pretty warm. Up until about six, KG put on his giant Under Armour coat, which was extremely overpriced. But then some does came out. We started off with three, just chilling out in the field. Next thing I know, there's four. Then there's five, then there's six, then there's seven does all in the field. And then here's me thinking, buddy, how is this possible? Why ain't they at least one buck chasing them? Well, a few minutes go by, and here comes one buck chasing them. He wasn't a big one, so definitely not a shooter. As he was walking through, though, I think he saw the glare off my lens, and he actually spooked back about five feet. Something light, nothing heavy, but then he just continued on to chase a doe out into the middle of this field. It was really cool because that's honestly the first time I've seen him do that in real life. After all those does slipped by me within six yards of me, two big bucks came right into position. I'm telling you guys, they were thick boys. I could also see antlers on their head, but it was a little bit too dark to confirm whether they were Rock Band or Jeffrey. All in all, even though I didn't kill anything, I'm gonna have to say that last night was the number one deer hunting experience I've ever had. Just cause I saw so many animals and they didn't see me. Not much action has happened since Ricky headed out to the west. Or maybe it's the east. I want to remind you guys about our Black Friday sale on KindleGrape.com slash shop. We have all these things over here really epic. And for the Black Friday weekend up until the end of Monday, use promo code BLACKFRIDAY, all caps. And that's going to get you 10% off site-wide 
whatever you want. That's t-shirts, knives, hoodies, survival kits, literally anything. Black Friday, all caps, and first link in the description, Kendall Gray, one of the shop. I genuinely don't know how many episodes this is going to take to kill this deer. I thought it was just going to be one, but I'm retiring this crossbow for the next two weeks. Rifle season is upon us, and it is happily being replaced with my Christensen 308. If I can't kill a deer with this, I'm probably just going to quit hunting and start fishing again. We're in a new location. That's because we're doing something pretty special that's really important to this video. But the reason we're up here is that target way back. There. I've got the metal target at 100 yards. I have the gun I'm going to be using. I have the ammo I'm going to be using. And we're going to practice like we hunt. I'm going to be standing up, bending over, backwards, stuff like that. And all at the same time, we're going to be testing out our scope cam. I'll go ahead and load me up two right here. Feel free to make fun of me if I don't hit them, but hey, that's what we're out here practicing for. My scope cam won't even turn on. Don't worry, I have a backup scope cam for when we actually go hunting. But during target practice, we're not gonna have a scope cam. I'm sorry. All right, guess y'all just kind of listen to the ding. All right, I hit it. Let me try one more. Oh, the wind's catching me, the wind. All right, I hit them both, that's pretty good. I don't know what the deal with this thing is, but that's what we practice for. If I took this camera out there and Rock Band would've walked out, we wouldn't got scope cam footage. But regardless, there we go. That is a 180 grain 308 soft point. Let's see how confident I am whenever I can take a rest. Hit it. Hit it. All I got to say to Rock Band is you're lucky I didn't get you in both seasons. But there ain't a chance you're getting away in rifle season. Why would I say that? I'm literally going to jinx myself. Check out the KG Black Bear hoodie. Look at that. That's an original KG design. That's thinking sick. We're going hunting in the morning. It is rifle season. <sighs> We're not going hunting right now. We gotta figure out this dang scope cam, brother. If I ain't got a scope cam, I... <clears throat> I have this arithmetic. I think I've been compromised. I can put this apparatus directly onto the scope and then it literally sees the exact same thing I do. The problem with this strat is that if I go to work the bolt, I can't. I better not miss, okay? Cause there is no second chance. Whenever I put the scope cam on it, this is officially a single shot. A really good looking single shot. I just wanna let you guys know that we appreciate you guys a lot. Cause whenever you guys simply watch the videos, it literally makes us be able to do what we do. And plus our whole goal is to make things that you guys wanna watch. And whenever you guys actually like it, it's awesome. Okay, we are currently aiming down sight. You can see my Yeti cup with Mammy strap front and center. I'm thoroughly disappointed in this scope cam. It is terrible. This is a new camera. Let me know how it goes. I really like how it zooms in, but I don't know anything else about it. So far, I've seen one doe, and that was pretty early. But with it being this windy, from what I know, the deer are most likely gonna be down in the hollers instead of up here on the ridges where I am. Hey, there's Steven. See, check out the zoom on this bad boy. I'm talking the zoom on this bad boy. That's pretty good zoom. What are you doing, Steven? So, here 
Here's what I didn't tell you before. I'm up here in this stand. My cousin's literally just right around the mountain. That deer had sprinted straight across the field. He jumped over the hill, got on my phone, texted my cousin, big six pointer coming your we should have a dead deer. He said he killed it. All right, bet. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna take a break for about an hour. Go help him load up there and gut that deer. And then I'll come back while he takes it to the uh, meat cutter upper. Deer, deer slicer. Whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> yeah, that's Ricky. Ricky Bobby, that's him. I saw him last week whenever I came out and just sit, and he was chasing those then too. He's coming straight down the hill. I know. I saw him and I was texting you, and then you shot before I sent the message. I'm regretting it. Really? Yeah, I thought it was bigger than it was. I just seen him. He is wide and pretty tall. Just not many points. It's a mass, man. That's a young dude. They smell good? I don't think they smell bad. I think they smell good. Well, boys, looks like you're just going to have to come back Monday.